Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypto Session Brief. We're on Monday the 25th of April 2022. So far today, cryptos are selling off uh, across the board, uh, largely thanks to a, glo a global risk off trade that we've been seeing kicking off the week. You're seeing equities moving lower uh, across the board, particularly in the US. Uh, already futures poised to open below uh, Friday's low, uh, and that's talking about cash market opening a couple of hours time from now. Uh, what else have we been seeing? Um, there's no real major crypto uh, news from the space, which uh, which I've got to relay at this point. So we'll uh, take a look now, uh, purely from a technical perspective. And with Bitcoin in particular, you're coming right into the bottom of this uh, bo bottom of this channel, as you can see here. So uh, quite critical that the bulls find a bounce here. Otherwise, we could be in big trouble. Also coming into a technical level of some support at 37,250. So if that level doesn't hold, you're also going to be breaking through down through the the lower. Uh, the lower channel and uh, a move down into 35,000 could be on the cards quite quickly. 30,000 is, of course, that most recent low is, is going to be watched quite closely, 33 in fact. But first, will they be able to find a bounce at 37,250? Maybe the market to watch right now is the NASDAQ um, with the incredible correlation that we're seeing between the NASDAQ and Bitcoin highlighted with the chart that I posted earlier on inside the crypto chat room. As you can see here, pretty much moving in line with, uh, with with BTC in in recent times. So that's the NASDAQ BTC. So definitely look at the NASDAQ as a potential leading indicator for where Bitcoin may go next. Ethereum um, wasn't able to hold at 3,000. So this sell-off has seen this market uh, now close below and move below one of its key support levels. And as you can see, a lot of uh, lower highs being posted on the daily since that uh, most recent high at 36.30. So is that uh, the top, it certainly looks like it. Again, was a level we anticipated, didn't quite get to it, but a nice reversal off one of our levels. And ever since, we've been trying to hold at 3,000, rejected at 31.95, quite importantly, last week. And then over the weekend and today, particularly, you've seen that selling um, just uh, just intensify. And now potential move right the way back down into 2,500 could be on the cards if they can't hold around here. So I think around this area here, 28.15 was one of my downside breaks last week. You're basically moving into there right now. So I'm probably going to put that on our charts now because I'd probably call uh, the 28.15 as a, a bit of a line in the sand for the rest of the trading session and week, a, a drop below this area. And we're on for a move down to 2500 if they continue to hold here then maybe you reject uh, re reverse from this 2815 handle back to retest the 3000 handle overhead and it'll be important to see if they put in another lower high here in this overall trend lower because that could suggest a continuation lower of course and a move through the 2800 handle so that's bitcoin and ethereum technically uh, ripple has broken below one of its key ascending trend lines and this market now is selling off quite rapidly as you see it move back down into the 20, uh, 0.6175 and that was the low from way back in uh, in February there which seems like a lifetime ago but there we are watch out of course potential double bottom but if we take that out then it's a case of moving down to retest that 0.55 handle Wrapping things up today with Litecoin, which is currently trading at the round number of 100. Of course, round, uh, the, the 100 handle, quite a psychological um, handle, if anything. But we have reversed today off one of my key technical levels at 93, 92.95. You can see on the charts there. So let's call it 93. Nice reversal off there and basically a potential big double bottom. You can see we came into that uh, area not too long ago as well. So quite important there. There are, of course, some buyers here. There's probably been some profit taking as well, hitting that most recent low. But again, we are shaping up very much to the downside and if this direction holds you know we could see we could easily see a fall through there daily close below 93 and we start to consider moves all the way down into 68.7 on litecoin i'll wrap up the brief there there's nothing else that i want to add no major news out of the crypto space for now uh, let's see if this uh, risk off trade continues throughout the rest of the trading session. Like I mentioned, uh, tune in for my US session brief in a few hours. Where we'll take a look at the NASDAQ a little bit closer, see how that's trading. So, of course, that could be a big factor in what we see happen with the crypto space next. Until next time, I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care and bye for now.